Hello everyone. Welcome to BIP Solutions. My name is Sumit and I'm a VP for Technology Operations and Technical Head. In BISP, we provide you niche solutions for your business requirements. We can solve your issues. We, can com we are committed to provide a solution to your business problem in a given time frame. And in continuation of that, this is my another info video related to your regarding to your professional solution. And that is Bitbucket. So what exactly Bitbucket is? That I'm going to tell you in through this video. What is the bid bucket? What is the use of bid bucket? And how can we use bid bucket to solve our daily problems in, in our professional life? So I can say that that bid bucket is a perfect solution for professionals. So let's try to know more about what exactly bid bucket is. So bid bucket is more than just a Git code management. It's a GIT repository managed solutions, which is specifically designed for professional teams. And it gives teams one place to plan projects, collaborate on their code, test and deploy the code at a central place. So from a single place, from a centralized location, they can manage everything. And basically Bitbucket is a web-based version control repository hosting owned by Atlantis. And it helps in keeping project organized by creating bit bucket branches right from Zira issues or fellow cards. I'll, go, I'll be going to tell you more about the features of bit bucket. Uh, but before that, uh, the bit bucket basically it offers the Three deployment options. So there are three deployment options available for Bitbucket. Number one is the Bitbucket Cloud. Number two is the Bitbucket Server. And number three is the Bitbucket Data Center. And the one which is most common, that is Bitbucket Cloud, which is hosted on Atlassian servers. And it is accessed via a URL. So if I'll show you my Bitbucket interface, as you can see, that's my Bitbucket interface. And when I take, when I move to Bitbucket Home, so that's a Bitbucket. And as you can see, I can access it to URL. So this is designed basically, this is hosted on a server which is provided by Atlassian. And uh, it's a, uh, basically, it has got an exclusive built in continuous integration tools, pipeline. Which helps to which helps you to build, test, and deploy directly within Bitbucket. So we will be going to talk more about the features of these uh, of Bitbucket Cloud in upcoming videos. Also, Bitbucket Server, the second deployment option, we have a Bitbucket Server and which is hosted on premises. And Bitbucket Data Center is. Uh, it looks like a single instance of Bitbucket server to user, but it is hosted on the number of servers uh, in a cluster in the environment. And uh, basically, that's a Bitbucket. And using Bitbucket, we can create various repositories. We can uh, we can share those repositories with our users, with the developers, and we can deploy all the projects on those repositories. Uh, there are certain features available in for Bitbucket. So the features which are available in Bitbuckets are number one, access control. Uh, this restrict access to your source code to unauthorized users. Number two is the workflow control and it enforce a project or a team workflow. Number three, uh, it's a pull request with inline commenting for collaborating on code reviews. It also offers Jira integration for full development traceability. And the final one is the full REST API to build feature custom to your workflow if they are not already available from the marketplace. So these are the features uh, regarding other features which are available for Bitbucket. So basically Bitbucket uh, it gives 
integration with Jira and Trello, and it keeps all the projects organized. It has got built in continuous delivery, and also it provides free unlimited private repositories for a, for a, for a very small team, basically uh, under five users so within five users you can create a free bitbucket account and uh, you we can create repositories unlimited repositories within it and we can perform our task by creating projects into it and by sharing repository now let me give you a quick demo demonstration that how can bitbucket how can we create repositories in bitbucket and how can we deploy or how can we push uh, uh, a project into repository and we can share that with our user with the other developers so first of all you can visit bitbucket and when you visit bitbucket it will take you to the official site of your bitbucket and here you can register yourself for free of cost and if you see uh, for a very small team under five so that is unlimited we can basically we can have uh, unlimited repositories we can create under within five users so we can secure the workflows by setting up two step verification and also we can deploy often with using built in continuous deliveries that can be done we can we can follow a pipeline for the staging deploying and building testing everything so this is what and we can click here for you can click here uh, get started and you can register yourself i have already registered myself and that's my bitbucket interface i'm using as you can see i do not have any repositories right now so i can click on create repository to create a new repository let me create a new repository name as test repository uh, i'm not making it a private repository right now version control is git and i'll create a repository here so it uh, a new repository is created and now we can now by default this repository is blank we do not have any files within this any project committed to this repository now for this what i'm going to do uh, let me show you quickly. I have a project ready with me. So I have certain projects. So let's suppose there is a project called Face Morph Project, and I would like to. Uh, I would be going to use this project. I would like to buy this project on my bit bucket. So uh, in order to perform a Git commit on bit bucket, what I have done, I have installed Git in my system. So I have already installed Git. I can show you that. So when I go to Git, as you can see, I have installed Git and it's installed. So I have installed both GUI and Git bash. So I right click and say Git bash here. And uh, this will open a Git command prompt for us. So I'll just right click and say Git bash. Now I would like to commit this. Uh, basically, I would like to uh, commit this code on my bit uh, bit bucket repository so i'll just pass certain command git in it git add dot git commit minus m and i'll just add my initial commit so you can see it automatically gives all the permissions i can check status for that so nothing to commit it's a clean and we, we need to add this so now i would like to add uh, git remote add origin origin is basically for master and what i'm going to do i'll just copy this particular url and paste this url here and enter you can see uh, it's it's ready to deploy now and now i can say git push minus f origin and i would like to deploy in master so you can see i'm on master right now we can have multiple branches so right now i do not have any branch we can create further branches within master and we can commit accordingly but i would like to commit into 
master and I just press enter for this. So git push f origin master. Uh, sorry, git push minus f origin master. And when I'm trying to do that, uh, because I'm doing this very first time, so it will it may ask you to log in. Okay, so if you are doing it very first time, it will ask you to log in so you can provide your git credentials. And as you can see, the commit has been successful enumerating 24 objects, which is done successfully. So there are 24 objects or 24 files uh, of 11 MBs and all the files have been committed successfully. Now let's go and check right now. None of the files are there, but when I refresh my screen and you can see the project is committed over here with the initial message we mentioned my initial commit and you see the project is added and we uh, some more information about this project so that would be added here. and now if someone want if i would like to share this to my other developers to clone they can use this link to clone the bit uh, to clone this project on their machine so like this we can easily uh, we can easily commit the project and bit bucket and we can we can use it to centralize all our development and to that we would be on a same pace and the, all the developers they will be having the uh, they would be having all the updates uh, on a regular basis so that's all in this video uh, i hope you like this information about Bitbucket. I would be coming up with some new more videos, more information about Bitbucket. We are using this Bitbucket on a regular basis in BISP and even uh, in all our clients projects also, we would be using Bitbucket so that they can have all the updates in, uh, they can have all the information on a centralized basis. So I believe if you have some queries or some doubts, you can drop a, a drop a message to us. You can visit our website www.bispsolutions to get to know more about what are we offering and what are the services what BISP is offering to you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.